Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So just another super quick tutorial today. I want to show you how to turn any object in your scene into a V-Ray light using V-Ray mesh lights. So I'll just go under create splines and create a circle right in the middle of my scene. We can just increase the interpolation to maybe 24. I'll go under rendering and say enable in render and enable in viewport. And if you leave it like this, it won't work. We need to convert it into an actual mesh because right now it's still a spline. So you need to right click and say editable poly. And now what you can do is just rotate this thing up and go under create lights V-Ray. Let's do V-Ray light and from the type select mesh and just click. And then you need to go under mesh light and say pick mesh and pick our circle and now it has been converted into a V-Ray light. You can see that it added this V-Ray light modifier on top. Right, so the cool thing is that you get all the controls that you get for a usual light in here. You can control the multiplier, the color, right, you can make it invisible, you can make it double-sided, all that stuff that you can't really do with the self-illumination material. So that's really the main difference is that you get all these settings. So now you can just go under rendering, V-Ray and IPR options and just say start IPR. Right, so this is what it looks like rendered. I can just add an infinite floor again. So standard V-Ray, V-Ray plane. And then just double click on this edge in your V-Ray frame buffer and you have lens effects here. So what you can do is just say enable lens effects and this is what it's gonna give it that neon look. So now you can just select the V-Ray mesh light and change the color to maybe that neon pink that I have in the thumbnail, something like this, right? And you can control the size of the bloom and glare to give it that nice neon look. You can also control the intensity. So I have another tutorial on my channel where we just cover lens effects, but I wanted to show you how to do this. And you can also play with the bloom strength and size and you can play with the threshold all of which will either increase or decrease the intensity of basically the glow and then if you want to add the text you can just repeat this process right so you would just go under create shapes um, text click you know play around with the font do whatever you want with it you can increase the thickness to make it thicker and then again you would just do editable poly make another V-Ray mesh light and just give it a blue color and that's how I got this thumbnail here so I don't think it's necessary for me to repeat that just wanted to show you how this works all you need is the V-Ray mesh light and then enable the lens effects to get a nice neon look going so I hope that you guys found this helpful if you did as always I would appreciate a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I have a lot more V-Ray tutorials on the channel now so check those out and I'll see you in the next one